Well, my name is Dr. Lakeisha Robinson. I'm the principal of Humes Middle School here in North Memphis. Um, and we today are celebrating with our community by offering the Humes Middle School Soup Kitchen. It is a free event and we just take this time to fellowship with our community. They come in, they have delicious soups created and other dishes created by the teachers and myself and um, all the volunteers. It's made with love, so we just donate our food, our time, and um, even the student ambassadors of Humes comes and helps serve and support and prepare pair. Um, it's just one of many things that we do in the community. Um, we really believe that community service and being a part of a family is what school work is really all about. You know, in doing this work, we're not only just a school that houses, it's a place for education, but we also are a beacon in the community and another resource. We partner with um, several uh, community partners, including Whole Child Strategies, Communities in Schools, and Klondike Smoky City Community Development, along with Uptown Community Development. And um, this is, just, again, it's just one of those many events. Um, this was started this school year at Hills Middle School under the direction of Fraser Community Schools. And it is just like we said, another way for us to reach out to the community. Uh, we do have um, other events such as Hymns Gives Back, which we offer clothing drives and food drives throughout the school year. We also do community cleanups here at the school site and also in the Klondike, Smoky City, and Uptown areas. And we most we will participate in the MLK Day of Service um, next Monday, cleaning up Bigfoot Park. Anytime we find out about things to help out uh, in the community, we make sure that we participate. Our students get community service hours, which we add those up at the end of the year, and it helps them you know, get into a great high school. They can put that on their resumes to get into wonderful colleges, and we also focus on college and career readiness. So it's not all just about the books, which we do set rigorous standards for our students, but we also teach them to be great humans in real time. And we always say, Humes Tigers, gear up to give back. We make sure that they uh, look out for one another and support one another. Additionally, we offer a lot of resources to our families, such as, you know, life happens. Um, once we find out about things of that nature, we connect with our community partners, such as Family Safety Center, um, MIFA, Salvation Army, and we reach out to those um, parent, uh, families for any support they may need with housing, with food, with clothing, whatever basic needs they need along with utility assistance, the whole nine. So, like I said, we only don't focus just on education, we focus on servicing the whole child because uh, children have issues that go on that may not just be a learning situation or a studying situation. It may be they're without lights. It may be that they're hungry. It may be that they have several siblings and their parents can't afford to get clothing for them. So we offer all of these things. Again, Hume's Middle School, where we gear up to give back. Thank you. Hey, my name is Tadarius Bishop. I'm 11 years old and I'm representing sixth, sixth grade as their ambassador. Being mature, it means you have to be responsible for yourself. You have to listen. There are quotes, quotes that make you be inspired. Once you are inspired, you don't want to quit. You want to keep on striving to become the student that you wanted to be. It don't matter if you have if you have all A's or on the roll, as long as you're passing. Even if you are not passing, there is still time for you to make a better grade. Hey, my name is Latarius Webb. I am 11 years old, and I am a sixth grade ambassador at Hume's Preparatory Academy. There's only one word that I can say about Hume's is succeed. So, in social studies, my teacher, Ms. Davis, she works at hard work. I don't ever think she gets sleep because every day she comes, she's ready, she's active, she hands out a book mail. We get a do now, complete it. Then we're straight on the lesson. This week we're learning about the Israelites and Judah. So, but also, our social studies teacher, it says social studies in winter, you should believe in yourself. You should always. Dream big and read. If you don't read, you won't get nowhere in life. You should always read. 
Read between the lines. Read between them lines. Then you will succeed better. If you combine math, social studies, English, and science together, you have you have college.